While a leadership labyrinth might sound like a fun game, that's not how most people actually see it. When it comes to evaluating your organization's views and cultural issues concerning gender equality, it can be a maze that many people want to avoid, and unfortunately, many often do. As a leader, consider what makes up the walls of the labyrinth. First of all, prejudice unfortunately exists. Also, there are fewer women than men in high-level, high-paying positions due to historical patterns of hiring and education levels. In addition, personalities and leadership style preferences are sometimes different for men and for women. It's easy to think that women should be the ones to navigate the labyrinth. However, you could also argue that it's the responsibility of the leadership, no matter what gender, to find the best way to address these three walls. According to Eagley and Carly, Leadership effectiveness is increasing and the gender gap is closing. At the organizational level, businesses are diversifying their leadership and there are increased benefits for both genders, such as equity and pay and family leave. At the societal level, men and women are starting to share domestic responsibilities more evenly. At the individual level, there is a growing indifference about which gender serves in leadership roles and instead a greater focus is placed on credentials and experience. At the interpersonal level, gender stereotypes are becoming socially unacceptable. Recently, there has been an increase in female leadership due to increased education and promotion of leadership effectiveness. How many female leaders can you think of today versus 20 years ago? And how do you see this trend progressing in the future? Go higher, Concordia University, Nebraska.